next up is is an aptly named uh, named piece of gear. I'm gonna move my um, my uh, liquid here because I don't want this piece of gear to get water or Lacroix on it. Uh, and that is, well, it's orange, so I thought it'd be cool for the Halloween episode. I mean, it's it's not orange, but it's made by the company Orange. I'll just show it to you and just quit yapping. Uh, this is the Orange Acoustic Pre. It's a stereo uh, acoustic preamp slash DI that I. I, I, I mean, I was a little bit apprehensive. They they reached out. Noah said that they had reached out a couple of weeks ago and said, "Hey, we'd love for you to check this out." And I was like, "Okay, well, I guess we can we can give it a shot." I'm not a huge electronics buff, but I I mean, I use these things out of necessity. Um, so he came in, and uh, just uh, as as I tried that stomp box from earlier, I tried this out correctly though when I <laughs> when Noah left me here alone at the studio. And uh, I am I'm very very much impressed with this acoustic pre, especially from a company that is really really prides itself on on I mean what from what I understand high gain electric guitar amplifiers. Um, but what's unique about this particular pre is that it is a two channel pre, and channel A actually utilizes a tube, so you're able to get this wonderful rich harmonic blend. And channel B has a mic input with switchable phantom power. So you can effectively play your guitar plugged in and in front of a mic all through this unit. Or if you choose to do so, uh, channel B has a, a standard input as well. So you could actually blend two pickup sources. Let's say you have an internal mic pickup and maybe uh, a bridge pickup or a sound hole pickup. You can actually blend both uh, pickup sources in this unit. Now, I know it's probably hard to see on the camera, so I want to show you a video of it. But before I do that, I actually want to plug it in. Uh, I have my guitar out here. I'm using my 1935 Martin uh, Single O 17, and it's just a great guitar, one of my favorites. It's got a K&K &K pickup, so this is a K&K &K bridge pickup. I'm going through channel A of the acoustic pre, and I'm just going to play a little bit, um, and, and then I'll share a little bit more about the features and show you a video uh, which has some close-ups of the um, actual functionality of this particular pre. But this is with the preamp on. So what I love about this pre, I mean, I can go through and twiddle all the knobs and why, I just found a setting that I like because I wanted you to hear it. But um, what I like about this pre is that it does have two channels. It does have reverb on board and it's extremely flexible. Um, in terms of tone, I mean, you, you really can dial in a fantastic tone, but there is this overall um, crispness to it and articulation that I really like, but it doesn't go to that quacky, gross, plasticky sound. It stays crisp, it stays articulate and composed, uh, but it has rich, uh, that rich harmonic overtone or undertones that uh, I would attribute to the tube. And you can actually adjust uh, how much the tube influences this, the uh, signal by this little heat knob. Uh, now, again, I know that it's hard for you to see this, so I actually found a video, and I wanna show it here because it features some awesome playing, but also you can see both the front panel and the back panel, and really how flexible this this particular acoustic Prius. So let's have a look at that right now. I really like this Halloween episode. Uh, so, so anyways, 
Um, the Orange Pre, I think has a, an ideal use, and I wanna share that with you right now. Um, in my experience with it, I mean, it's been versatile, it's really fun to use, uh, and as I mentioned, extremely flexible. Uh, but I feel that, personally, I mean, I think you could use this in a live setting and in a studio and have success in both, both areas. Where I would wanna use it is in a studio. I think it's built like a tank. It could probably take getting stepped on. It could probably take getting dropped, but there's there's nothing to foot switch on it. Uh, so if you are gonna use it live, I would, I would venture to guess you'd probably want to set it and forget it, put it right next to the soundboard, dial in your tone and leave it be. Um, but in a studio, you could have it right next to your little recording area and dial in awesome tones, mess, mess with the, uh, the tube saturation and all that stuff. So I definitely think this is something you should check out. It surprised the hell out of me. Uh, the price, it looks like, uh, according to my research, is around $8.99. Is that right? Somewhere in there? Uh, yeah. Eight ninety nine, yeah, like under a thousand. Yep. Um, so it's not an inexpensive piece of gear, but it's just something I wanted you all to know about because I think it's, I think it's unique and and a really good sounding piece of gear. So that's again the Orange Acoustic Pre. I'll be doing a full in depth review of it here, uh, probably a little bit later. But uh, I wanted to give you uh, give you all a sneak peek of it because I'm just I'm really really impressed with it. So please check that out.